Hello, and welcome back. Let's try. Well, so, what is this? This is uh, definitely not in my general wheel wheelhouse. I have actually covered this game before, but I covered it on a stream. This is Stallcraft. Um, and it's a kind of a mouthful. That's because it's kind of a sum of its parts name. Um, it's Stalker Minecraft, but it's not really. I, I, I like what this game is. I've been playing it for a little while. Uh, I've been playing it for for a couple days. This is actually the first time I've seen this reward system here. I'm, I'm, I think this is actually new, but I'm not sure. They, there's a little bit of monetization in this game, and uh, that's going to either rub you the wrong way or it's not. But um, I, I will say I haven't really spent a dime on this game, and I've been I've been enjoying it for for what it is. Uh, and so what is it? It's it's basically like a kind of um, stalker called a Pripyat, um, in that it, it is an open world game. It is an MMO. It is a PvP VE. It is kind of an extraction shooter. Um, you know, there's it, it's, there's a lot of genre blending going on with this game. Um, it's a lot of things, but I'm enjoying all of those things. Um, so I, I want to show off. First of all, if you intend to get into this game, I want to show you something. Uh, hit enter. You're going to hit this cog wheel here, and then you're going to uncheck all of these things. Um, my biggest complaint with this game is I think the community in it is fairly toxic. That's my opinion, but, uh, you know, go ahead and see for yourself. There's also not a lot of moderation going on, as far as I can tell. So, um, you are going to be subject to the community. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a doozy. I'll tell you what, you know, watch that first step. That's all I'm saying. So there's, uh, some fairly realistic gunplay going on in this game. I'm sure, um, actual, like, gun fans will... Uh, probably disagree with me, but I, I appreciate there's a, quite a bit of uh, customization going on in this game. I've I've picked up this is my you know after a few hours of play this is my worn SKS, and it's got a SKS bracket and a optical sight attached to it. This is probably some absolute jankness that most people are gonna be like what are, what are you doing? But I, I like it. It serves my purpose. Um, there are quests in this game. I have done, unfortunately, most of the quests. I, I thought about starting a new character just so you could see um, what the quests are. I have some quests I can do in this uh, main area. This is the kind of the starting area here. And here um, I'm on the stalker uh, side. I'm a, I don't, not a faction, but like I'm on the stalkers. You know how like World of Warcraft, you got to join the alliance or the whatever, the horde. Um, so I've joined the alliance. Over here is the horde. Um, this is basically the bandit camp. So um, the bandit camp has players on it and the players will kill you. So there is PvP and that's either going to interest you or it's not. Um, if it doesn't interest you, then uh, do know that for the most part, you can play this game mostly PvE. I've been playing it mostly PvE um, with some very few skirmishes and um, so, you know, the, the question is, well, yeah, okay, but what about what when someone comes over and shoots you and takes your can of beans, you know? Like, there's always that. There's that rust um, mentality. Oh, well, yeah, there is. Um, so sometimes you can get killed by a player, and that can suck. Um, but the one nice thing is that you keep your gear, you know? So I've, I've got my sawed-off shotgun. I've got my worn SKS. I've got some goodies. And I mean, this uh, this armor, I had to buy it, you know, and actually, now that I think about it, I want to put my body armor in there, my plate. You you keep all your gear, so that's good. You, you kind of keep your major progression. Uh, you'll drop things like uh, ingredients that you've gotten. So like, oh, we're going to we're going to do a little bit of mutant killing here. Kill this guy. Didn't have anything on him. But uh, on my inventory, on my person right now, I have some weak flesh's eyes. I'm trying to get five of them for um, one of the few remaining quests in the area. Probably when I get to the next area, there'll be, there'll be some more quests. There is kind of a loose storyline, um, you know, and I appreciate that, you know, like if this game was just PvP, if it was just an excuse for PvP, um, it would not interest me basically at all. Uh, I did that. I, I already did that. It was called Rust, and I did not enjoy that. Um, I, I enjoy PvE, and I do also kind of appreciate the risk 
of um, an extra ex extraction shooter. So uh, I I'm getting the most uh, bang for my buck out of this game. It is free. Um, and I, you know, like occasionally I will die to a, a player and that's fine. I've, I have killed a player once or twice. After you've killed a player, uh, you really, I accidentally used my... Ooh. Okay, this is bad. Hold on a second. Oh no! Run! Okay, that, that could have ended badly, I uh, won't lie. Oh god, it still could! There's one more. Come here, come here, bud. Sorry if you uh, hate um, killing dogs in games uh, or watching dogs die in games, I, I don't uh, necessarily blame you. They're mutant dogs. I know that doesn't make it better, but you know, they are mutant dogs and they, they are trying to kill me. So, uh, that almost went badly. Okay. So there's these, there's these little PVP, uh, sorry, PVE markers. Every, these are available to everyone, including the enemy. So they can, um, potentially be, um, a, a meeting area for PVP zones, but, um, the, no one's really going to bother with these mutant dens anymore because they're, they're the kind of the low tier stuff. The things that people actually care about are going to be like um, kind of NATO camps and uh, this game's probably going to get pretty political, but you know what I mean? There's there's going to be like police camps um, that with, with loot and stuff. Um, so those are available to everyone. And uh, if you're going for those, you're going to know that um, probably there's going to be other players trying to complete those. When you complete them, you're going to get some experience. The experience actually doesn't come in the form of like player experience, but actually like a faction reputation. So like, um, and not even faction reputation, reputation with your current camp. So, um, you know, like I'm, I, I don't want to get attacked here. I'm at Ataman's HQ. So all of the quests I complete, um, right now are, are going to get me reputation with Adaman's uh, HQ. I've actually already maxed out my uh, my reputation with them. Uh, you you let max out at level five. That's going to open um, you uh, open up opportunities for buying gear, upgrading your guns, buying modifications, stuff like that. Um, you know the 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 standard affair, uh, and you're going to need like you you're also going to need to get resources like the green mold uh is a standard crafting material um so you know you want to you want to do these pve things um obviously pvp is enticing to some because then oh i could you know i could kill a player and steal their stuff you don't really get everything you get some stuff um but they'll also have uh like a backpack that you can't really open up so you know there's a little bit of balance in this game it's not just like uh, you know, go and kill a player and, and steal their can of beans because the can of beans might not be available to them. So there's not like pure incentivize incentivization for PvP. Uh oh, I'm out of bullets on my shotgun. I can use this gun too, but uh, I like to save it for um, the uh, the the human camps rather than the mutant camps. The the shotgun's really good for mutants. The, uh, because this thing has a, a pretty decent scope, uh, I, I tend to use it for the human camps. You can see on the left there, um, a player just died. I'm pretty sure that it means a bandit killed a stalker because it was red and then green on the right. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Got some mutant skin. Thank God. I, I can't tell you how long I've been needing some more mutant skin. Let me see if there's any major no it's all it's all kind of um flesh hideouts here um i have yet to like see the m next area because like i, I kind of stepped one foot in there and uh, like immediately died there's that ally death so we can see um near this kind of like meeting area is is where you're gonna see player deaths uh that's true for the bandits as well if, i mean they, if they stray too close to the stalker camp then they're probably gonna die too so, uh, how is this game not like Minecraft? I mean, you are crafting weapons, you are crafting modifications and stuff like that. You can find, um, cool anomalies and stuff in the, in the wild. Ooh, there's a doggo. Um, and also, like, 
find some cool artifacts uh there is crafting but there is no terrain deformation uh as far as i can tell oh no strayed too close to this beast den uh yeah there's no there's no uh, terrain deformation and there's no building a base as far as i can tell and i kind of like that um and so like you know some for some you might ask well why does it look like this then um what is the point of having it have the game look like this why does the game look like trash it's really a matter of perspective i actually kind of ooh, i that's the first time i found some like genuinely good stuff in the wild and steel plate is actually going to come in handy um i actually kind of like the look of this game you know like it does have the simplistic look for sure there's a player over there um that's a stalker not a bandit obviously um i wonder if i can go up here yeah i can uh but i it's actually like there's quite a bit of like little touches of post-processing effects on this game that i really appreciate like you can see the fog is quite nice there is a day night cycle the night times get really dark so you have to turn on your uh your your night vision so you can see in the dark um there's the anomaly effects are pretty fun um there's some cool environmental effects that uh come in and out so uh you know i actually kind of like the look of this game the, the atmosphere is here um you can actually kind of like hide in the bushes and stuff uh when it comes to players like i have definitely done that to to hide from a player group so that i can like try and get my quest complete so you can see adamant's uh hq is at you know 500 to 500 um and this is the stalker camp that i came out from but uh i, I can go and uh, check what we can we can sell some stuff i still need um some two more of these flesh's eyes but i want to make sure i come back occasionally so that i can store my stuff like the stuff that i lose when i die like all of this stuff you'll see um well it doesn't say it now but this one says drops upon death um you want to you want to get rid of that stuff you want to put it uh, either sell it or um put it in your personal stash so that you don't couldn't possibly lose it um I, a little detail i like and it took me a little while to figure this out I, I bet i'm sure i could have read it but i didn't um these pouches of ammo like you'll drop your ammo as well right this these this loose ammo you'll drop but um if you buy these pouches then you won't drop does not drop upon death these pouches of ammo so you can keep one of these pouches on you and then just like grab one stack of bullets out of them and then if you die you still have ammo on you you don't have to like do inventory management and pull some more stuff out of your personal stash you don't have to mess around with anything like that so there's a there's a you know a couple touches here and there that make it more tolerable for um for someone who is not really here to just like go in and and scope out some you know noobs and kill some people for some cans of beans not really my shtick not something i really enjoy um just seeing if there's anything in here i want to buy i don't think there's anything there i can show you a little bit about um what the progression looks like um from the standpoint of like weaponry and um maybe some of the story this is a kind of game like i wouldn't actually mind getting a group together to play something like this not to kill people but just to, so we can you know do some stuff safely you know um so we're gonna we're gonna sell the mutant skin we're not gonna sell these we're gonna sell these broken claws i actually should put these in my personal stash sell that so we can get our ruples throw this in my stash so i don't lose it and i guess this as well and you don't drop money when you die which is nice there's just like i say exactly enough um oh yeah we're gonna look at weapon progression there's exactly enough uh like little touches and balances here to make sure that you know dying or getting completely destroyed by a player doesn't feel like the end of the world and doesn't feel like well i just have to have the better weaponry to to start making kills there's a little bit of truth to that for sure but um i, I guarantee you most of the people that have the better weaponry they're off in like higher level areas um killing things that matter um you know like they're not gonna be hanging around here uh looking for a tin of beans but these are the uh, these are the sites um but here's here's uh the rifles hold on a second where i'm in i'm in the sniper rifle 
tree right now. So here's my Warren SKS. I have to assume eventually I can upgrade it to um, a norm, normal SKS. We can have a look at what that looks like. Um, and when you're in this like view, you can actually, you can um, see what you could equip it with. So that's how I figured out this jank setup here. But if I wanted to get a normal rail, then I would, it would open up uh, a lot of potential um, customization options for other scopes. I really like this customization. I mean, the guns and, and stuff in this game, um, they look and feel a lot better than they have any right to for a game that, um, if you'll excuse me, looks like this. You can put a laser on it. You could put another scope on it. Two scopes. I mean, the fact that you can do that, and it really doesn't make any sense, uh, I think is a kind of a testament to this, this game's, um, you know, player agency. I like, I like that I can do something stupid like this. Um, but this is actually how I kind of figure out what I need to buy. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I want the SKS bracket dovetail joint. So then I go, um, we're going to go to, uh, probably other attachments or probably rails or something, handguards. And I'm looking for the SKS and it's green. Nope, not here. It's prob... Oh, oh, there it is. SKS bracket dovetail joint. So I know I have to be in the uh, the next town, garages. Uh, and then I have to be level two in that town. So I have to have done a couple of quests uh, in that town. I like this guy's rain... <laughs> Raincoat is is actually delightfully jank. I I don't know something about this art style. Like simultaneously, I I genuinely get kind of immersed in this game, and I also find it hilarious. I think it is like really funny, and uh, you know almost endearing in a way. It's like well, you really you did try, and I appreciate that. Okay, there's a there's a bandit camp, so we're gonna go check out that bandit camp. And uh, that's that's visible on the map for like all of the stalkers. So we could potentially group up. And something I've even done is like I'll I'll find myself at a camp shooting some uh, some some you know uh, NPCs whatever, uh, and another stalker will be there trying to get in on the same quest. And you know you share the loot. Like there's a, sh a shared. Um, goodie bag at the end that everyone gets you you get like if you manage to loot a corpse before anyone else well then you get that stuff and uh, my general rule is I, I only take from the bodies that I um, loot from and I, I really don't care if someone steals my you know oh okay he stole some corpse that's fine so I'll try and like loot a body before uh, someone else that's fine but um, there's still a, a you you're guaranteed a reward for completing the quest and you you get something even if you only really make one kill so the pvp is done or sorry the pve is done really well in that sense like there is actually kind of an incentive to group up and uh make some kills uh oh oh i didn't uh i didn't get any more ammo i don't really have any more ammo i feel like i, I should get you know what that's my grenade what i really want is my knife there we go might might be able to hear my cat wheezing in the background. So here are some anomalies. Um, we can see what this looks like. We classic stalker gameplay. I, I'm a fake fan. I've never actually played any stalker game, but you can like throw bolts into these just to see what they do. Some of them are real, some of them are not. So I know that this one's apparently fine. So I could walk through that one. Uh, useful if like for instance I saw something interesting i've actually seen a um I, f I found an artifact in this very little swamp here um so like there's there's stuff here where there's danger there tends to be reward the soldier guardhouse those are what you really want to do because those will give you the big reward but they're also kind of dangerous obviously okay there's another one dead I'm, I'm doing three shots per per kill here and that's not good i'm not gonna i'm gonna run out of bullets shotgun ammo oh god that was a player i managed to kill him with my remaining bullets wonder if he'll have some ammo you didn't have anything 
so like i took all of their stuff yes but um it will um like depending on how much stuff they have it will drop like a separate stash for them as far as i i understand it will there's be, there'll be like a separate stash and you can find that separate stash but you won't be able to open it you won't be able to open it or like interact with it so i could try and make like one kill and get some of the reward here there we go and look at that i guess that was the last kill <laughs> i got the last kill on that quest nice let me see if i can't loot that body sorry bud i really need this yes it actually had some ammo we got um oh there's some more ammo yes okay we're back in business sort of yeah you can you might have noticed well you probably didn't notice because i was very quick about it but there's only the one swamp stone swamp stones are, are something you're gonna need a lot of um so your reward is very much based on how well you did so if you only killed a few things or if you only killed one thing you only get a very small reward Okay, so there's other players here. This is good for us. Sometimes it's bad, but in this case, it's good. You don't want to be in the water at all. Uh, if you can, if you can at all help it. But, um, you know, you'll get ratted out. Now that there's like a kind of a, a flow of players moving through here, we could go to that next camp. And they're already, if it's flashing like that, it usually means that there's already players um working on it this guy is saying oh help me out i'm gonna i'm gonna take on Ooh, is that that is a actual player yo <laughs> okay listen i know i said i'm not into pvp but if you see a player and you have the opportunity why not right okay i just want the stuff Oh, I can't get out. No! I'm getting dangerously ratted. I can't get out. I'm gonna die. I died. Oh my god. Had I given, like, had I not been in the water. Was that a player? That is a player. Okay, let's let me let me live by what I'm saying here. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy has a lot of stuff. Okay, listen I am like overweight right now Okay, let's uh, let's drop this stuff drop 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 We're gonna drop those sacks. So we'll be a slightly less over encumbered my god There's all of our stuff. This is gonna be a bit of a pain because we are way over encumbered again. Not gonna worry about the, we can eat the bread. I didn't eat the bread. Oh God, yeah, I deserve that. So that guy's gonna pick up all my stuff. Maybe if he's also a good guy, he'll uh, leave my, my stash. Oh no, don't get stuck here again. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the stuff that I dropped. It is the stuff that I dropped. Okay, so uh, I lost I lost all of my my goodies, and I'm being shot at. No, I'm I'm currently rad being ratted. Uh, an unsuccessful run, but still a, a fun one, all the same. I thought uh, I thought there were some interesting things going on there. Want to get to the second floor so I can maybe kill a couple more of those. Uh, NPCs One thing I do kind of wish this game has had was the leaning it, 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 it feels like a weird omission Like you would think that this would be the perfect game for leaning and it would be but it, I have it doesn't have it Uh I would have thought that that would have something on it. Okay. Yeah, he tried it too. <laughs> so, um, you know, regrets. I, I wish I could have shown off some of the story 
the story is you know it's actually quite read heavy like there's a lot of dialogue um it's it's all written so you're, you know no no voice acting um which is fine not just letting you know <laughs> but like you know there is quite a lot of story there's a lot of characters that you'll meet they need you to do various things uh it adds a little bit to the world building um and it's you know eventually we're getting uh pushed a little bit g very gently towards the next town and uh you know garages and more dangerous missions um there is like instanced world so like this here means that uh, once i go through that then i'll be in a completely different instance um and then there's like actually chernobyl in this one i'm not sure if it looks like there's yet another area there's actually wow i i hadn't looked at looked at this at all but there is apparently a lot of uh of map in this game uh and also like I, i'm interested to see what what people will make of uh stalker gameplay or content for me because I, I i've been meaning to play the stalker games and i wouldn't mind but uh, this is probably not people's first uh first choice in terms of like that kind of content but um you know i think it uh, this is this is a really cool game and um i think that the monetization is is being done fairly smart they uh, actually listened to their community pretty extensively the the developers um they were offering like a starter pack with a bunch of like non-cosmetic items and people were like no we don't want that especially not in a pvp game uh and they kind of like took it down like the same day uh so they they do listen to their um their player base like i i think that the you know for the most part they're they're doing smart things but even when they're not they know when when to take no for an answer which i i think is is good but anyway stockcraft what do you think of it uh if you enjoyed this definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy